Good afternoon, and this is Mr. McGee. A common question I get asked by my students is, how do we know that atoms are real? Well, rather than just sit there and tell them stuff, I'd rather them see with their own eyes. And I want to show you that same evidence that a Swedish botanist named Robert Brown first saw in 1829, and that was used by Albert Einstein in 1905 to confirm the existence of atoms. All you need for this is a microscope, preferably one that goes to 400x, this one goes to 1,000 power, however, and if you're going to use that powerful of a microscope, you're going to need some immersion oil. But all you really need for this, if you have a basic microscope, is a glass slide and a cover slip, and you need some milk, preferably one that has at least 1% fat in it. I diluted this with a 1 to 1 ratio of water to milk, and you just need a little paper towel to wick up any excess on the side. All you got to do is take a little drop of milk, put it right in the center of the slide, just like that. You don't need much at all. Take the cover slip, drop it right into place, and I have a very thin amount, but if you have excess, you do want to use the paper towel to kind of wick up any excess on the side. Take the slide and put it on your microscope. I'm going to use my other hand for this. Stick the slide into place, and then you're going to want to use your high power objective. So I'm at low, medium, high, and I should say I want to use the extra high power, oil immersion. This is 100. And then with the 10 power, this is 1,000 power. Lock it into place, and I'm going to use a little bit of that immersion oil. Put a little drop right here. And then all I have to do is I lower down the objective until it makes contact with the immersion oil, just like that. And now we're going to go look through the eyepiece. Okay, I've got it focused. Let's go have a look. This is what Robert Brown saw in 1829. You'll see the little droplets of milk fat are bouncing around. He wasn't sure exactly what this was, and although he was using pollen grain, he actually saw virtually the same thing. If I zoom in, you'll notice the little drops of milk fat are very animated. Now, back then, they didn't know what this was. Some people thought that maybe these are living organisms, kind of like what you would see in a pond sample. Some people thought that maybe it was a mirage, kind of like on a road on a hot day, causing maybe a little rippled appearance. But Albert Einstein, at the age of 26, in 1905, he was single-handedly able to demonstrate that this was actually atomic theory, visible with the eye. Albert Einstein said that atoms are vibrating, and the atoms are kind of bumping into these little bubbles. And you can see the bubbles kind of knocking around like this. It's kind of like if you were to go to a concert and there was a mosh pit. You would be knocked around as well with everybody banging their heads and jumping around. This here, of course, is not proof of atoms, but no one has come up with a better explanation for this Brownian motion than atomic theory. This here, ladies and gentlemen, is evidence itself for the existence of atoms.